Hey guys, welcome back to J Lake 3D. So yesterday I made the tutorial for the pattern tool and I skipped out on one part, which I thought was not important, but thinking back, I probably should show you just in case. Uh, the thing is that there's a reason I usually don't use sketches for patterns and I will show you why in a bit, but let's go ahead and start and show you about this. So first of all, when you're making a pattern with a sketch, make sure you identify the things you need. So for example, we need these bricks, right? We don't want these outer lines because if we extrude them all, it'll be a, a nightmare. And the reason why is, let's go ahead and use the pattern tool to make our pattern, first of all. So spacing 20, just like the other day, and spacing 20 here. Let's make quantity 10 and five, just like in the previous tutorial. And as you can see already, uh, imagine if you had, well, first of all, let me just show you why I'm doing this video in the first place. So let's say, usually you select, each one, blah, 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 blah. You extrude them one at a time, right? Now we have this selection tool, but this selects the edges. So what do you do? You still have to select them and you have to extrude. So no, don't, don't do it that way. So you have, to go, you have to go to tools, extrude, and then you select them all. But the problem is, as you can see here, if you kept those outer edges, it would extrude those as one piece, as if you see here. So what you need to do, and the reason why we did it the way we did is we selected to copy only the inside part. So technically, if you copied everything, you would now have to go through and delete the outside sketch. So now if we go and do it properly, tools, extrude, select all, we have our bricks, right? So that's one thing. But the problem arises when we go to the round part. So if we want to make a sketch pattern around our circle here, there's actually no way to extrude a 3D object from a 3D sketch, because all you can do is 2D with sketches. So let's say, for example, if we go over here and we have a round shape, let's do this. So this is all you can do, because just because you have sketches on all these perimeters, you can't extrude them in the sense that you can the brick. So you still need to go in and make your reference points and do the actual three-dimensional object for the pattern. The only exception being is if you take like, let's say a top view of this. So tools project this top view, let's say on this plane as a sketch, click done. Let's, uh, delete that just for this specific situation and let's say we go to transform pattern we select this top view we select our circle and then we can do oh i forgot to switch and again i hate how it refreshes the thing but anyways let's go ahead and do our pattern here by 180 for example and we did i think 17 last time uh so spacing uh total spacing and we need total angle and let's make it 180 and then sometimes it goes the opposite way so you just do negative when it messes up so again this is a rare rare situation where you can do a tutorial from this way you would still have to obviously go in and uh, extrude that so we would use the same method here let's uh select this so we can find it easier in the folder oh, those are all in there okay so anyways <laughs> we can just go like this tools extrude select all of these and then add to those two so go and extrude by 10 and we can kind of have that pattern but this is a rare super rare occasion where you can do this because most patterns are much more complex they're not a simple brick and that's why i say that there's no real way to do this kind of stuff because usually if you have a pattern you'll you'll have at least like let's say for example some kind of chamfers on them or something and some fillets for example as well so there's no real way to actually sketch these things you just have to take this specific piece and pattern it around after you've already completed it as you can see so that's why i say it that way so 
again there's reasons for it so just something to keep in mind hope this helps you guys either way don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye here at Jay Lake 3D, our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.